great question and tall shadows question is regarding my riserless core um you know i have my riserless core layout uh illustrated via photos on my website and there's a page called riserless core and it shows the layer by layer build of my core using insulated fire bricks and in my first riserless core i placed a window at the 180 degree turn at the back of the firebox um as a viewing window for use in the layout of my full masonry cook stove. Now, that window is placed on the back side of the bricks that form the core, so they cre it creates sort of an extra large gap around the central divider of the two sides of the 180 degree combustion chamber. So, Belgian Gulch is asking if I delete that window if I bring those bricks all the way into where the back wall of the rest of the core is, then it seems like I pinch off that gap at the back of the firebox. And that's true, Belgian Gulch, and it's something that I caution. Um, I think somewhere in that website there's wording about that. Perhaps not. Maybe I've just written it to so many people, but you don't want to pinch that gap. And if you put those if you fill the window gap, the window hole, and you put the bricks flush with the other bricks, you will pinch that gap. So what I recommend is that you maintain that gap the same size as the width of the final port in that same design. And off the top of my head, I think it's like, I want to say it's, um, God, I don't even want to guess, but I, <laughs> because it's been so long, I think it's just, I think it's just stronger, a little bit stronger than two inches, um, I want to say it's like two and three eighths or something like that. Nominal. Um, try and leave it at any rate bigger than that and you'll be fine. So what we want is we want to make sure the port is the area of most restriction. The port at the end of the second combustion chamber. <laughs>